Kamusta kayo lahat? Ako si Mark Mark, ang host niyo for tonight's show, Pinar Crossover, the weekly show where Filipinos are talking basketball. We got our host here tonight. How are you doing here, James? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, welcome back again. And New studio. Are? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Because we're back and back in our old studio. You know, I miss <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I miss going back right here. I miss this new screen. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome to our uh, yeah, old welcome studio. Yeah, welcome to our yeah. old studio, yeah. James. <laughs> yeah, you know, this brings us back in the day when we used, you know, when we started the show and mm-hmm. it was... It was a great atmosphere because we were just like we kind of didn't know what we were doing, but now we're kind of you know accustomed to the uh, the yeah, weekly still know what doing. grind <laughs> to it. But let's go straight up to uh, what happened this past weekend. So talk, I guess before we get talking about it, maybe let's show the clip of us the you know Pinoy crossover team checking out and covering the whole Raptors 905 Filipino Heritage Night. Check this out. What's going on guys? It's Jared from Panora Crossover. We're here at Paramount Fine Food Center as the Raptors Center 5 take on the Capital City Go-Go. It's not just a game that's happening, it is the third annual Filipino Heritage Night that's happening by Rise Tribe. So we're gonna go check out the festivities and see what's going on. with Jay from Rise Tribe. Jay, it's the third annual Fubu Harris Night. How does it feel being here back again? It feels like home, honestly. Um, as you mentioned, it's our third time here. We've had awesome support from Raptors 905 along with the MSE. And it's, you know, it's like, it's our third year. It still feels like new, but we're kind of like veterans in this game. And we're just happy that we're able to do this again and share this with the community. What are some of the groups I've been brought on? I know there's some Filipino food cut here right now. Yeah, so we have, uh, fortunate enough, we have Max's restaurant, uh, the local restaurant here, here in Toronto, that's with us. Um, in terms of uh, basketball teams, I know Durham Rising Suns are, are with us, along with the Jayhawks team. Uh, they're, they're constant supporters of the Raptors 905 and, and us as well. Um, and those are just few of the many groups that are involved, so. Great defense. Baldwin, look out. It's an aerial show. Oh, they had a mismatch. Great prior. Same spot, made a ball. And one last thing, was there any any plans coming out for Riot Shop this whole year? Yeah, so for 2019, uh, I can't provide too many details, but we're having a uh, upcoming is a, a founded by Philippines uh, all women's panel or conference that we're holding in, in a week's time, March 9th. And uh, we have a couple things in store. Uh, we're continually working with MLSE and doing stuff with the Raptors, uh, the, the Big Brother team are here. Also, some other things that I, I can't let out the bag just yet, but uh, our community, I think, will appreciate it and. Uh, uh, some good things in store for sure. Well, that was a great highlight. I hope you guys enjoyed that because these guys had such a good time. Tell us a little bit about, you know, what uh, what you guys experienced? Oh, your first time we've been covering the Randall Five Filipino Heritage Night. Tell us a little bit about it, James. Uh, it, was well, it, was, it was nice, man, because yeah. uh, this is my first time going to Filipino Heritage Night, and you know, like in Toronto, that's something new for for Toronto. And seeing it in San Francisco, LA, and you know, we should not take advantage of Filipino Heritage Night. You know, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. Toronto. It's a lot of Filipinos, a lot of people from Montreal or maybe Vancouver coming down to. To Toronto just to be in in Filipino Heritage Night, not just in, uh, in Raptors and but 905 too. So that's a fun experience. And um, of course, like the festivities there, you know, the all the, all the events coming up to it. Um, the halftime performance by shout out to Y Y Z Z Company, <laughs> uh, dance company. All yeah. Filipinos, man, they were ta- they were great. Five minute dance performance. Five minutes. Wow. That's a long time for them. Wow. But yeah. they killed it on the dance floor. We had to, if you saw our clip, yeah. you uh, we showed them on. And also, I don't know her her name, but we had a little girl who sang the national anthem. She was really good as well. Mm-hmm. I got get to, got to meet her. And again, 
another well-rounded festivities hosted by Riot Tribe. Shout out to Riot Tribe again for doing this. You know, we want to get make it bigger and bigger, and they they, they did it again. But we want to we want to see hopefully hopefully we get back to uh, the Toronto's again, make it mm -hmm. official Philippine Harris Night over there, and not just Raptors Down the Fire. I mean, Raptors Down the Fire is great. And also a great team, great atmosphere there. But, you know, we want to try to make it down to the old Scotiabank Arena. Yeah. And make, it, make, make it be like the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys like the most about, you know, uh, the whole festivity, uh, whether it's, I mean, the organizer or the games or, like, the sponsors? Like, what did you guys like when you guys were covering? What did you guys notice that you liked about it? What I like about it is because, um, you know, Filipinos, they don't really watch 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. because uh, we have PBA or PBL and mm -hmm. for our country. So mm -hmm. to even like kind of like show the other side besides the Raptors, kind of like show like experience, you know, and this is like NBA players that are coming up. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of interesting to just show this other side mm -hmm. of NBA. Because G League is something that don't really get telecast, right? So. I think adding on to that, a lot yeah. of Filipinos, when you play basketball, you, you were kind of known as like some of the underdogs, right? Yeah. And people on the G League, Raptors on 5 they're underdogs. Everyone's trying to fight for an NBA contract, official yeah. NBA contract, right? Yeah. But the game itself, I mean, it was a great game. I, I seen Chris Boucher in person. Yeah, yeah. really that's great. Probably, yeah, that's a good. But sure. again, it just. Uh, the atmosphere of having being able to have groups of Filipino teams, especially like like teams like Rising Stars, uh, Rising Suns uh, from Durham, uh, they were able to come back again and play uh, before the game started, and just to have them and have a lot of Filipino groups like across the province, maybe across mm -hmm. the country, come in and celebrate with us, and also just watch a game that we love, uh, like basketball. Mm -hmm. And 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 watch a good team, and they they blew out the Capital City Gogo, yeah. and like during the third, uh, almost cool. before the half. So yeah. I mean, it was a good game too. And just adding to that, the atmosphere, and also uh, f don't want to forget you. Shout out to Max Restaurant, Clyde passes um, <laughs> providing us with chicken, rice, and some Olympia, You know, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, we've been covering it for. I mean, Rice Tribe has done a great job at organizing these events and really bringing it up to to the MLSC and to the Raptors franchise, whether it's the Raptors 95 or the Toronto Raptors, bringing this amazing opportunity to, for Filipinos to be recognized in the community because we are passionate about basketball. We're one of the biggest merchandise purchaser, consumers of basketball, uh, attire, shoes, jerseys. Uh, it, it's just an amazing experience for us to be recognized. And we want to give a shout out to really, Rice Tribe for letting us, uh, or for being having us been across to be part of this amazing opportunity to to see the journey of us being recognized in the Raptors community, in the basketball community. And then we hope to continue this, you know, not just for the Raptors 9 to 5, but also for Raptors, Toronto Raptors in general, because we had it back in October and it was an amazing event. 